I don't know if anyone actually wants to watch this sort of content, but I want to talk about the books, so we're doing it anyways. So I finished book two of Lockwood & Co, titled The Whispering Skull. Very creepy, very fun. I really enjoyed it, long story short. In fact, I enjoyed it so much I forgot to write down notes while I was reading it, so we're kind of going off the top of my head here. In the last video, I talked about what I loved about the books, and all of those things still ring true. I really enjoyed this book, but I wanted to spend this time talking a little bit about the differences I saw between the books and the show. So difference number one, which really stood out to me as you know, a young woman. Some of the characters that were vital to the plot were gender swapped, and this happened in book one as well as book two. In the book where uh, Mr. Joplin is male and Fairfax's assistant is male, in the shows these are female characters. And they're small changes, but they're changes I do appreciate because these books are so heavily male dominated. Now, I grew up with the understanding that if I wanted to like fantasy books, I'd have to learn how to appreciate books with male main characters, so I didn't really notice until I juxtaposed it with the show. Difference number two is the, I think, budding romance between Lockwood and Lucy. In the show, there's a couple of moments where they're very physically close and then they gasp and look away, or where they have conversations and someone mentions, oh, well, you just like the way she looks at you. There's definitely the hint at a budding romance there. Whereas in the books, they only have really one indicating scene where like he adjusts Lucy's grip on the rapier and a couple minutes later she's like, I don't know why, but my legs feel wobbly. So while I think the books are never actually going to show us that romance, it's just not the tone that we see there, I'm hoping the show takes it a step further. It would just be so satisfying. A difference number three is just in the experience. It wasn't really an adrenaline read. Now, that's solely because I had seen the show and more or less knew what was going to happen, but they made enough changes in the show that I was on the edge of my seat to see if they were going to go where I thought I knew they were going to go. It's very vague, I know, I'm trying not to spoil things. But yeah, as much as I loved the first book, the second book was definitely a step up. 12 out of 10, would recommend a read. Stick around for my review on book three. Sabuna!